We're here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. We're one of 10 NASA centers, and our expertise amongst the NASA centers is the robotic exploration of the planets. On August 5th, Sunday night, August 5th, 10.31 p.m. Pacific time, we're going to have landing on Mars of the Mars Science Laboratory mission and its rover Curiosity. So that's the biggest thing that's going to be happening in the Mars program. However, the Opportunity rover is still roving. It's been going eight and a half years. It's at the rim of Endeavour Crater, and uh, Opportunity continues to collect science after eight and a half years as well. Spacecraft are designed here and they're typically built by many other subcontractors across the country, but they're designed and tested here at JPL. This lab is known as the uh, Sandbox and we call it that because of the sandy floor to simulate the Martian uh, surface. And basically what we do here is we have an um, engineering model of the rover with the arm, the cameras, the drill, all sorts of, all the instruments. And basically what we do is we do testing uh, to kind of see how the rover will react in different situations. Um, we'll test software before we upload it to the flight vehicle and we'll go through rehearsals of what the actual rover is going to be doing when it's on the surface of Mars before we tell it to do those things. We are at JPL in the Mars Yard uh, and what we do here in the Mars Yard is we test uh, robots driving around in different terrains just like we'd expect to see on the surface of Mars. Uh, so today we're driving Scarecrow out there. Scarecrow is a Mars weight vehicle for Curiosity. So Earth, Mars gravity is only three-eighths of Earth's gravity uh, and the Scarecrow rover weighs on Earth what Curiosity will weigh on Mars. And then we drive around here in the Mars yard over rocks and we've got different slopes of 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, and we've got a sand pit where we drive uh, up soft sand dunes at different uh, slopes so we can characterize the behavior that we expect to see from the rover once it gets to the surface of Mars. What we do in this room is we test components and subsystems that eventually get integrated into being a full-up spacecraft. This is the chamber. It's reverberant, so the sound echoes around. So the spacecraft can sit right here, either on a pedestal or we hang it from bungee cords. All these microphone booms would be lowered down so that they could measure the acoustic field and can control it so we can equalize it. JPL has supported manned missions in the past, and we are certainly hoping to assist in manned missions to Mars in the future. <laughs>